Welcome. I'm Glenn W. Worthington, your host for Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. If you watched my last video, and I hope you did, I, I found this interesting clear crystal and just assumed it was quartz because I knew it wasn't diamond. But, you know, I can tell by the shape and the luster and everything. But it is clear and my wife and others have said, Bonnie Casper said, uh, check and see if, could that be topaz? So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna check and see what this is. So we have a gem tester to test it. We also have a gem scale to see how much it weighs. If it is a topaz, how big is it, how heavy? Uh, also in the last video, I mentioned that I was literally the guy that wrote the book on diamonds in Arkansas. Well, this is what I was talking about. I've got it in my office. I don't keep it outside. Usually you see me all sweaty and dirty and nasty and everything. And I, uh, I actually showered, put on cologne. Don't I smell a lot better than when I'm sweating out there? But anyhow, uh, this is my book that I wrote about diamonds in Arkansas. It tells the history. And in the middle of the book, I have photos of what uncut diamonds look like. Because most people have seen cut diamonds but don't know what uncut diamonds look like so I use a lot of photos so people can can tell recognize them if they find them and we have basically white yellow and brown uh, white really clear and yellow and brown white yellow brown right there and uh, anyway other photos in here and uh, great stories this is my biggest diamonds, uh, no, best diamond so far, 204 yellow. I found a 213 brown. It was very nice, very good quality too. So uh, this is my office and uh, here at the Worthington Diamond Mine, I got a different office at home. We don't live here, this is our mine office. And uh, I not only wrote the book on diamonds in Arkansas, but I also have written, I don't know, 10 or 12 magazine articles for Rock and Gem, uh, Western and Eastern, Treasure Magazine, and other other magazines, and including Gold Prospector Magazine, and this story that tells about the big diamonds I found. It also shows this ring, and this is the ring I'm wearing now, and I wear it all the time. You'll see me out greasing the plant with this ring on, uh, and it made it made the front cover of Gold Prospector magazine along with my old mug. But anyhow, uh, also we used to buy and sell diamonds from Crater Diamonds for 20 years. We sold them through a store on the Murfreesboro Courthouse Square. And when National Geographic came to town, they took a picture of our sign and made it a two page spread in their magazine. So free advertising that did us a lot of good. So anyway, Oh, also, speaking of Western and Eastern Treasure Magazine, let me spin this over here. I don't even know if, yeah, this is in the, in the shot, but anyhow, you can't, can't see it. But So I wrote an article for Western and Eastern Treasure Magazine uh, for 2008. I found this 62-point natural, uh, natural heart-shaped white diamond, and so... I wrote an article for Western and Eastern Treasure Magazine about how I found this diamond, the whole story. And I was awarded one of the best finds of the year for 2008. Well, the next year I found the 204 yellow Easter Sunrise Diamond and wrote an article about how I found that and it was published in their magazine and they also awarded me best finds for 2009 uh, for the Easter Sunrise Diamond, the 204 yellow. And then the next year, I found a 213 brown, the brown rice diamond. We had it cut and it turned out great. And I wrote an article for Eastern and Western Treasure Magazine about that and I got best finds again. So three years in a row, nobody's ever had best finds award three years in a row. But anyway, that was back in the day. Some of you are saying, oh wow, that was a long time ago. What's he doing now? Well, what I'm doing now is not digging at the crater. I'm digging at the Worthington Diamond Mine. And what I found recently, let's let's take a look at it. And I'll get you over here maybe where you can see the, the gem scale and the uh, Persidium J. 
gem tester that will tell us a few things about this find. So I'm gonna jump right in front of you here and be real rude. I'm gonna pull up a chair and get comfortable. So <clears throat> first thing we wanna do is weigh this and see how much does this gem weigh. If it is a topaz, we know it's not a diamond. If it is topaz, how big of a topaz will it be? So you lift the lid to this gem scale and you turn it on. Okay, it's warming up. It says CAL for calibrate. So to calibrate, you take this 50 carat weight, put on there and close the lid so no breeze will affect its reading. And it is calibrated to read 50 carats. And you can put a one point diamond on here, a 25 point diamond, it'll, it'll tell you. We're gonna drop this big old rock in here and close the lid and see what it weighs. 56.11 carats. So 56 carats and 11 points. Incredible. That is a chunk. Now, if it's something valuable, that's the next thing we want to know. So we'll set this aside and we're going to pull out the Presidium Gem Tester. Now, this is a heat pin and you turn it on, you warm it up, and you touch the tip of this and it it pays attention to how long it takes to dissipate that heat. Now, diamond will dissipate heat real quickly. That's why a diamond feels cold to the touch because the heat is dissipating off of your finger or thumb. And that's why they call diamonds ice because the heat dissipates and they feel cold to the touch. Well, different gems dissipate the heat in a different range and this I'll put on my glasses and it will tell you whether this is a piece of glass whether it is a whole lot of things whether it's sapphire or ruby you know corundum or topaz or spinel or uh, quartz it'll tell you whether it's quartz amethyst or citrine now those are all quartz crystal the quartz are clear the amethyst is purple the citrine is yellow but they will all read in the same range on this so for topaz we want to jump up here for diamond we want to be up in the green but uh, we don't want it to be glass over here but uh it's quartz we'll see so anyway we're ready it's warmed up ready to test i just put this heat pin against there and the gauge jumped up. Can you see where it jumped up? It says that is quartz crystal. Now, if this was a purple one, I would say, well, that shows that this is amethyst. <clears throat> if it was yellow, I, we would know it's citrine. But since this is a clear mineral, this is quartz. So uh, we've, we've learned what that is. Now, is it crazy to think that we could have found a topaz here? Oh, I'll leave that light on a minute because <laughs> I got something to tell you. My wife and I haven't told anybody this before and now you're going to know what's in this box. So years ago, I was dredging in our pit on our mine property here that is now our freshwater supply pond for the Diamond, uh, Worthington Diamond Recovery Plant. I was dredging looking for diamonds and I found a big rock and it kind of looked like that but i thought it feels dense now this one doesn't really feel dense to me that's why i figured it was quartz and it is quartz the other one was real dense but it was clear it looked similar to this it ended up being topaz and the largest topaz ever found in the state of arkansas now i know texas colorado they're known for topaz they'll have bigger and better topaz but we found the biggest topaz in the state of Arkansas and we had it faceted and set in a ring and here it is. This is a white, you know, a clear topaz. Uh, it looks huge on my wife's hand, but her fingers are much smaller than mine. I'm not sure what it cut to. I can't recall. Maybe 10 or 12 carats. But it started out the same size as the Uncle Sam diamond, 40 and a quarter carats. And I want to show you pictures of what it looked like when we, 
when I found it before we had it cut so that if you ever see one you know you'll you'll recognize it so let me get zoomed in on the old computer I've got pictures on the laptop excuse me I'll have to get logged in and uh, here watch my code here so you can break in to my computer and see oh you weren't watching I didn't have you zoomed in anyhow I want to show you some pictures here and I hope this gives you an idea this is not a real clear picture of the gem but so that you will know size comparison to a quarter here's an Arkansas quarter I mean you're everyone's I'm gonna turn the light off so maybe you can see better everyone's familiar you know with the size of a quarter but um, so comparably man if I had set it on top of it you wouldn't see much of the quarter uh, let's go on and get a better picture that see the the quarter was in focus but the gem wasn't because it's sitting up because it's so fat um, here's a picture of the topaz you know when I found it here's an uncut adjust that a little anyway an uncut topaz from Arkansas and uh, there's another view of it and I'll show you several several views and while I do let me talk about the density of a topaz because I said a while ago it felt dense um, the density is of a diamond is 3.52 the density of a topaz is between 3.50 and 3.60. So anyway, it's very close to the same density as a diamond. So the dredge that was going to try to find a big diamond ended up finding a big topaz. On our own land here, we've owned this land for 25 years, bought the land and the mineral rights. And I was dredging it because there is lamperite on this property. but that's not really where we're mining right now we bought another 10 acres about a thousand feet away and uh, anyway this is a topaz so if you see anything like it get a presidium gem tester and test it and see see what you got uh, some people would say add ah, just a rock and throw that out but we had the tester and I was curious about it because it was dense so we tested it and found out it was genuine topaz and sent it off to be cut we contacted Joe Doris if you remember him from the prospector television show that was the most popular show on the weather channel for years they had several seasons um, we contacted Joe Doris because he had found a lot of topaz and had him cut and said hey who would be a good guy to cut it so we sent it back east and had it faceted and uh, we think it turned out real well. I mean, it's not a perfect gem, but biggest topaz I've ever found and the biggest topaz ever found in the state of Arkansas. Found right here. This is the corner of the property where we're at right now. And this is my dredge. I'm out there in the muddy water with a keen engineering four inch dredge. It, uh, you've got a big hose, a four inch diameter hose, 25 foot long and you suck up ore and we had lamprite ore in that pit and uh, it ran it across the the dredge and caught the heavy minerals and let the light minerals go off and i know it worked because it caught a topaz and that's a heavy mineral so there i am stirring up the muddy water in our own pit and uh, loving every minute of it, it, it dredging is a lot of fun so there's just another view of our pit that has lamperite on it and we dredged it for diamonds and uh, that's a better look at the dredge it's got a like a gold riffle board down it the uh, it, you have a pump and it pumps into kind of a Y and it creates a suction so you're just pumping water through there but it creates a suction on the hose and it sprays everything this flares out and everything goes across this real wide long floating riffle board um, and that catches your heavies and uh, it worked real well and I enjoyed running it it was a nice piece of equipment before we got our diamond recovery plant but uh, 
This is a picture of the lamparite in our pit in the corner of this property. We have four and a third acres here before we bought the Worthington diamond mine. We dredged this for diamonds and processed a lot of lamprite with the dredge. So um, now, now that pit is our supply water pond for the diamond recovery plant. But anyhow, I just kind of wanted to show you that and tell you this news. My wife finally said, yeah, it's okay. You can go ahead and tell people. Um, we hadn't told people because we didn't want, you know, people coming here to prospect and and uh, see what they could find on our land. But uh, let me get just another shot, if I can, yeah, of this topaz ring. So that's how it turned out. You saw where we found it in that muddy pit on our property and saw what it looked like rough, and this is what it looks like cut. Uh, I'll have to keep it down there in the light. Maybe I can zoom in on it a little bit more. But she said, yeah, it's okay. Nobody's going to come on our property. We've got security cameras and locked gates, and it's secure, so you can go ahead and tell people. But we've kept this secret for years. Um, we went to the Denver Gem and Mineral Show years ago and had the cut stone, and then my wife picked out the setting, and they, they set it right there at the... Then for Gem and Mineral Show, and uh, then she was able to wear her topaz ring around um, the rest of the show. But anyway, thanks for checking in. So we we tested and found out the other is not topaz, but it's quartz. But topaz can be found in Arkansas, and even good size. This was forty and a quarter carats, same as Uncle Sam. So it was the same size and density as at same weight as the Uncle Sam diamond, which is the biggest diamond found so far in the USA. I say so far because we're still mining at the Worthington Diamond Mine. <laughs> and the Crater Diamond State Park is open to the public, so somebody may find one bigger, maybe one up to 200 carats at the Crater Diamonds, I believe. So someday somebody's gonna find a huge one. But uh, anyway, uh, if you want to get a gem scale or a presidium gem tester you could go to our website which is triple w diamonds com, and then go to the products and stories page and there's a link to a presidium gem tester if you wanted to get one you can follow that link and order a gem tester they're pretty cool to, so then you know whether you found something or not a friend of mine i won't say his name but uh he found He's a metal detectorist, and he found a ring that had a shiny red gem in there and was just sure it was a great big ruby or maybe a garnet, but it turned out being glass. We tested it here. So anyway, uh, it's not always good news, but it's always the truth. Uh, so Presidium Gem Tester on our website, www.diamondsinar.com. Thank you for joining me in my office today. And, Thank you for taking a look at my wife's uh, beautiful topaz ring.